Ladies and gentlemen, I am Draco Thubin, and let's play something. We're going to start playing Forge. Okay, uh, this is going to be the first game I'm doing pretty much blind. Um, backstory first. So, I played Loom, right? Good game. LucasArts Adventure, awesome, fun. Okay, this is the fan-made sequel, or at least chapter one of the fan-made sequel. Uh, Quill of the Wisp, Quill of the Wisp, O apostrophe, not of, uh, is making this, and uh, I was asked a while ago because of my LP on Loom to help with it. Um, so this is going to be me hopefully providing some feedback to them on chapter one so far. And we'll see if we can get some, you know, good changes or whatever. Whatever needs to be done, hopefully it can get done. Because I'm, I want to see the sequel. It's, 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 yeah. I like Loom. Uh, yeah, this seems definitely like the way to go. But, so, um, go over to uh, ForgeGame.com or just Google Quill of the Wisp or Forge Game or something like that and you'll be able to find them. Um, and you can download chapter one and play it after I play it. And you can see for yourself if, you know, whatever is going on. and uh, Hopefully you have some fun with it. But, so, here we're going to start out and uh, you see this screen here. Um, this is the original copy protection that they had for Loom. Uh, this would come up and it would tell you, hey, uh, you had a manual of uh, all this stuff. And, and so you would find this symbol here, and then you would input the treadle and all this stuff. I don't have it. Oh, my gosh. Surprise, surprise. So we're going to input an incorrect uh, response to this. Oh, that was the treadle right there. Okay, let's see rest. Nope. Yeah, I should take a look at my original loom protection codes. I unlocked a reward! Oh my gosh! Hidden secrets, okay. Okay, I'm gonna hear a tune. Write it down. A, C, C sharp, E, D. A, C, C sharp, E, D. Okay. So that is the uh, A, C, C sharp, E, D. A, C, C sharp, E, D. A, C, C sharp, E, D. Oh, not C sharp, but high C. Welcome back to the Age of the Great Guilds, nonetheless. Okay, yes, please. I like the Age of the Great Guilds. What's going on here? Okay, got that set. All right. I wonder if it's even... I wonder, can can you guys hear this? Let's see. No, I don't think you guys can hear this. Hold on. right now that's not working out too well okay hold on a second I'll fix this but I'll yeah hold on maybe maybe I'll fix this
Did you hear that? I think so. Okay. So now we need to do this. Da, add screen region. We're going to add that. And we're going to make it big. And we're going to go like that. And that should work out. Hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Okay, there you go. All right, now it should work. Music's pretty good. Like it. Ow! What's happening? My hands, they feel like they're on fire. It's these gloves. If you haven't watched my Loom LP, you might want to go watch that too, by the way. If you're here, yeah, you want to watch that other one. The other one. There you go. Okay. Better. The tapestries. Okay, so it looks like we have two colorful tapestries. One is new game and one is rewards. Okay, well, we got a reward, right? So let's go into there. Uh, okay, so we wanted A, C, high C, E, D. Yep, we got guesser. Okay, so we'll check the rewards folder, and that actually gives us the protection code. So next time, we can... Uh, put in the right one and get a new reward. Ah. Okay, so G B A C C B A C C Bye bye. Okay. Let's start the game. Uh okay, proficiency level. Let's see keyboard. Yeah, let's do standard. Will of the Wisp. Nice animation. A little gradient work on that, but that's okay. Well, at least this time I woke up alive. <laughs> but where am I? And how did I get here? More importantly, how do I get back to the forge? We got these, and we don't have any gems. Okay, cool. It's a bed. An orthopedic bed. Just a short-legged table, actually. Not very comfy, if you ask me. That's absolutely not orthopedic then, dude. Like, uh, yeah, okay. I suppose I'd better make myself decent. What was that? That was Indiana Jones and Loom music because it's LucasArts. Haha, <laughs> but it's not. It's I'm amazed I survived that fall. Wouldn't want to die twice in one day. I'm looking at clothes, dude, not... Okay. Just some barrels used as furniture. Ugh. <sighs> Yes. 
These bear the seal of the Vintners. Quite a selection, too. Mm. These bear the seal of the Vintners. Good, strong craftsmanship. Even if it is made from wood. Grapevines. Here? Weird. Well, how about that? You're up and about already. It seems so. Are you the one who brought me here? I sure am. Bricks is the name. From the Guild of Vinters. I nearly pulled my back hauling you all this way. Vinters? Thank you nonetheless. Did he say Vinters? Bricks, was it? I don't mean to be abrupt, but can you take me back to the place where you found me? Not possible. We're too close to the volcano, so we're always having mild tremors. One of them closed off the way. You don't understand. I need to get to the surface. My guild, my family, needs me. You'll be wanting to visit the Magnates, then, in Sable Shaft. You'll find the way through that tunnel there. The Magnates? You mean the Lords of the Guild of Miners? That's right. That's who we Vinters requisition this plot of land from. Vinters. They may grant you access along their tram line. But I think it's been out of service since the last tremor. I'll have to see for myself. Thank you for bringing me here. Looks like I have my work cut out for me. Speak nothing of it. I would gladly do it again. Okay, maybe... Safe I travels, my friend. Maybe I'm crazy. Hold on. Let me confirm that I'm not crazy. He said... He said Vinters. Right? I just want to see the pronunciation of it. It is Vintner. A person who makes or sells wine. Vintner. Like that. What is a Vinter? Please tell me that. Okay. Great. Hey, Bricks. You gotta walk all that way, dude, seriously? Not to sound ungrateful, but exactly what are you doing down here anyways? Making fire wine, of course. A delectable distillation. It can only be produced in an environment with a complete lack of sunlight. The warmth and glow from the lava veins imbue it with a unique finish. I'll have to take your word for it. A blacksmith doesn't drink until he's a journeyman. That's quite all right. I couldn't possibly condone a tasting of these varieties. Bottling fire wine underground is quite a process, and thus very costly. Okay. Just some empty bottles. Okay. I'm glad they're selectable then. It's part of this weird machine. You don't happen to know a butcher and a baker, do you? Or a candlestick maker? Why do you ask? No reason. Okay, there was definitely that humor in Loom, but there wasn't all this stuff to click on that was unimportant. This is probably the same lava vein that runs through the forge. Or used to. Yeah, until they got airborne. Okay, cool. Not bad so far. Not bad. Um, we'll have to see how it goes, though. I'll tell you that. Oh! Well, look at that. 
I've never actually seen the tapestries of the miners. Everybody's got tapestries, not just the weavers, huh? Awfully bright for an underground mine. Okay, so we got districts, huh? White district, yellow district. Let's look at the white district. Looks like an amphitheater. Okay, a yellow district. Must be the upscale part of the town. Okay. Uh, blue district. Compared to the yellow, it's definitely the difference between night and day. Because it looks like night and day. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I don't really mean to be this cynical, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I want this game to be awesome. Is that a garden? What is it with these guilds growing things underground? It seems very strange without photosynthesis and the like. No, stop walking down the things, please. I don't want to go. No. Well, what do we have here? Oh well, I don't get to check out the red district. Hello, my name is. Seems we have a laggard. A what? Um. You know very well that the nightfall curfew is in effect for young people. I do? Of course you do. Should we take him now? Absolutely. Man your post. I'll take him myself. Yes, sir. Where are we going? Don't play a fool, boy. You're off to the magnets for sentencing. By now, they've most likely completed today's proceedings. But I'm sure they'll make an exception. Okay, I like well, the dude on the that right. Was easier than I thought. Dude on the left. Move on. Not so sure about. Seems a little forced. Wait, did you say sentencing? <laughs> I do like the humor. The humor is nice. The uh, visuals Stop. are nice. There's bright. an audience right now. We'll wait here. Uh, okay, I guess. Really and I didn't draws know from the it was original. illegal to sweep feathers off the street without a permit. Feigning ignorance now, you're not really talented at begging for your life. My life? I was just cleaning my stoop. Relax, silly. He's just putting on a show for Mama. She likes the drama. Sterling, don't talk to the accused. Yes, Father. My darling wife, Silica, what's a fitting punishment for a canary down thief? My lord, you're asking me? Oh my, I'm getting all flustered. Yes, think carefully now. This is all happening so fast. Take your time. The dialogue. You might actually be in trouble. Mama can get kind of crazy when father gives her the reins. Please mind your tongue, Sterling. I didn't even keep the feathers. I threw them away. My lady? A week in a canary cage. Yes, this thief shall spend a week in a canary cage. Perhaps that will earn him some respect for our guild's humble creatures. That's ridiculous. At least you've still got your head. And consider it done. Tomorrow morning, you'll report to the aviary. Please make the necessary arrangements to tend to your family. Yes, of course. Thank you, Lord Emery. He's, I like his acting. His voice work is good. It's your turn now. Move on. Not yes. so sure about his, but it's not bad. King and the Queen are kind of iffy, and the daughter Sterling seems Sire, a long winded. A moment of your time, if I may. Not long winded, oh, just like she's moderation. dragging everything out. What now? We have a curfew breaker. <laughs> fine, fine, leave us. I'll be around in case you need me again, my sire. Yes, of course. What do you have to say for yourself, child? Mind your place, wife. Yes, Let mind your place, wife. Let first. the boy speak first. Go on. Go on. Here goes nothing. My name is Rusty Nailbender, of the Guild of Blacksmiths, son and heir of a foreman. After returning from the outside, I have learned that chaos has been freed. We are at the dawn 
of the third shadow. Hundreds, if not thousands, are already dead. Our forge has been taken over by chaos and its dead ones. And I formally request your aid under the Conclave Doctrine, as permitted in a state of emergency. What under earth are you talking about, lad? Tell me quickly, please. Where's your graveyard? We miners do not bury our dead in the ground. Imagine how redundant and impractical that would be for us. It's actually she kind of... means we cremate. Practical, but still. Lord Emery, that's why you haven't seen the effects yet. Fissures to the outside open in proximity of burial sites. Yeah, but they would store but the ashes somewhere, you, I'm sure. Or something. Is here. Right? No? <laughs> of all the stories I've heard, yours is by far the most entertaining. Such a clever imagination has earned you an escort home. Way too slow. But way too slow. Guard. Please take this child home. It's late and the day has been long. Did you hear the sire? Let's go. At least he has a normal sure. cadence of his speech. The, the king. My man. sire. Even the loyal, the royal. That was either incredibly clever or incredibly stupid. I need to get back to my post. Let's get going. And where are you taking me? I don't live here. Don't be scared to go home. I'll explain everything to your parents. Daft. Chaos. Daft. <laughs> Daft. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what was that? They got canaries everywhere for. Oh, it's a so, mine and the. Which house is yours? Thing. I've yeah. been trying to tell you, I'm not from here. I'm a blacksmith. Nonsense. <laughs> now hurry up! I need to get back to my post. What will it take for you to believe me? I'm a blacksmith. And what's all the commotion out there? Sorry, Professor. It's just a stubborn child who seems to want to spend the night in lockup. He's pretending to be a blacksmith. Pretending? Our forge has been taken over by chaos and its legions of dead ones. And this rockhead, a blacksmith. Well, isn't that peculiar? Yes, my name is Rusty Nailbender of the Guild of Blacksmiths, son and heir of the Foreman. I fell through the earth after my gloves here. Gloves? Your name was Rusty, correct? Oh, yes, uh, my nephew, Rusty. How have your parents been? Nephew? What? Don't tell me you don't remember your Uncle Penumbra. Guard, I'll be able to take the boy for the evening. Um... I'll inform his parents in the morning. Is that all right with you, boy? Probably better than the alternative. Come inside. Tell me, do your parents still live in the Canary District? I sure hope the prof knows what he's getting himself into. Please make sure the door is closed. I'm sorry for the charade. My name is Professor Mason Penumbra. You said you were a blacksmith, correct? Yes, if you'll believe me. Let's assume for the moment I do. Can you first tell me how you came here and those gloves you're wearing? Will it help me get to the surface if I do? I'm confident it will. Well... It all started when I entered the outside for the first time. Out of the way! Hey. Talking little black birds. All right then. Incredible. This place seems to go on forever. 
At least if I get lost, there's no risk of starving to death. Okay, that effect is Hello weird there. with headphones. Way Hello? too much left audio. Good, sir. Hello? You got full left hmm. audio and then the right is all echo. It's He's probably too busy very weird. into the void to answer me. Okay. I'm gonna stop here for tonight. This is uh, yeah, ground. Um, how do I escape? Ah, here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna save it here is did it save? Yes, it did. Okay. Um. Well, this is chapter one. It's all right so far. I mean, it's uh, decent, especially for a fan made. Um, I mean, this is ground up stuff. They are paying for these backgrounds and stuff like that. I don't know if they're paying the voice actors though. I'll tell you what. If they are, some of them. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a great effort. Um. I think some of these voice actors need to be need to do a little better. I, I don't think uh, it's not that they're not good enough or anything like that. They just need to do a little better. They need to have a better tempo, um, better carriage of themselves as far as their voice is concerned. Like the one guy, the guard man, he just sounds like he's trying way too hard to be like, and this is how. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I'm a little cynical on it. I just I want this game to be really, really good. So that would be my thoughts so far in the game. Let me know if you have thoughts. Go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, message me. Message them. Go to forgegame.com and check them out. Follow me on Twitter at Thubin, YouTube slash Dirk Thubin and Twitter or excuse me twitch dot TV slash Dirk Thubin. Have a good evening. I will see you tomorrow when we finish the day. Alright. Peace.